good morning i am david assistant professor department of mechanical engineering rohini college of engineering and technology in this video i am going to explain some few topics from the first unit of hydraulics and pneumatic subject this is our second video in this subject that is our subject name is subject and uh, no, unit name is fluid power principles and uh, hydraulic pumps so in this first we are going to study about the components of hydraulic system hydraulic system in electric motor drives a hydraulic pump so that the fluid is pumped from the tank at the required pressure the fluid circulated into the system should be clean to reduce the wear of the pump and the cylinder hence the filter is used immediately to storage tank since the pump delivers constant volume of fluid for each revolution of the shaft the fluid pressure rises infinitely until a pipe or pump itself fails to avoid this some kind of pressure regulators is used to spill out the excess fluid back to the tank the cylinder movement is controlled by a three position change over control valve one side of the valve is connected to a pressurized fluid line and the fluid retrieval line and other side of the valve is connected to the port a port b of the cylinder since the hydraulic circuit is a closed to one the liquid transfer from the storage tank to one side of the piston and the fluid at the other side of the piston is retrieved back to the tank so these are the operations for rise lower and off rise operation to lift the weight the pressurized fluid line has to connected to the port a and the retrieval line has to be connected to the port b by moving the valve position to rise that is dcv direction control valve position rise then lower to bring down the weight the pressurized fluid line has to be connected to the port b and the retrieval fluid line has to be connected to a port a by moving the valve position to lower then off the weight can't be can be stopped at the particular position by moving the valve position to off this disconnects the port a and b from the pressurized line and the retrieval line which locks the fluid in the cylinder so this is the general arrangement of hydraulic system there is a reservoir filter then main heart of the pump heart of the system is pump this pump is connected to a motor and motor rotates pump rotates then this is pressure regulator then this is this is dcv so when this position is in acti activation rise position the flow, the load will be lifted when this position off position is activation the <coughs> constant position will be activated lower when this lower position is in activation the load will come down then pneumatic power system the components is almost same that is air is drawn from the atmosphere atmosphere through the air filter and raised to the required pressure by an air compressor air contains significant amount of water vapor and also the air temperature is raised considerably by the compressor so the air must be cooled before using it in the system which results in condensation the compressed air is stored in the reservoir which has water outlet at the bottom of the reservoir and the pressure switch to control the pressure of the compressed air pressure switch stops the motor when the required pressure is attained and starts the motor when the pressure falls down the mark one side of the pneumatic valve is connected to the compressed air line and silencer for the ex exhaust air and the other side of the valve is connected to the port a and port b of the cylinder so this is the construction of pneumatic system so here the pump is replaced by a compressor almost remaining the components are almost similar to hydraulic components here also rise 
to lift the weight the compressed air line has the connected to port a and port b is connected to exhaust air line by moving the valve position to rise then lower to bring down the weight the compressed air line is connected to the port b and the port a is connected to exhaust air line by moving the valve position to lower then off position the weight can be stopped at any particular position by moving the valve position to off then we can see the internal gear pump it is coming under non positive displacement sorry positive displacement pump the internal gear pump it is this is the diagram of internal gear pump this design consists of an internal gear a regular spark gear a crescent shaped seal and the external housing as power is applied to either gear the motion of the gears draws fluid from the reservoir and forces it around both sides of the crescent seal and acts as a seal between suction and discharge ports when the teeth mesh on the side opposites to the crescent seal the fluid is forced to enter the discharge port of the pump so this is the construction of internal gear pump so already we have discussed about the working okay thank you students